What's up everyone and welcome to the sync up onboarding video. In these next 10 minutes or so, we're gonna go over everything you need to know to start running sync up and start getting your LinkedIn automation game going. So with that being said, let's get right into it. First thing we wanna do is obviously after we went to the sync up website, we went to plans and pricing, we've selected whichever pricing plan works better for us and fits our needs. And we would have started our free trial and created our account. At that point, you would get an automated email that will trigger and will give you a link to get the Chrome extension as well as a bunch of steps. But we also have this video if anyone's a visual learner and wants to watch and prefers this method. So if for whatever reason you don't get the email, all you have to do is just do a simple search of sync up Chrome extension. It's the first one that pops up right over here and it'll take you over here. So what you wanna do is press add to Chrome and let's go ahead and add the extension. Once the extension is added, you'll see it right here, but the first time it'll disappear. So you wanna press this little puzzle piece over here and then you're gonna go and select it. And then once you select it, press a little pin next to it. You'll see what I mean on your own screens. And then now it'll stay pinned to the top of your Chrome extensions. You'll go ahead and open it and you're prompted with login register. For the first time, what you wanna do is press register and then go ahead and press the same exact credentials that you did on the website and press register. I've already registered, so I'm gonna log in. I'll go ahead and log in and I'm good to go. Now, what we wanna do the very first time when we run it, when we run it is we want to close Chrome and then open Chrome again. So let's go ahead and do that, close Chrome and then open Chrome again. All right, now let's share our screen. And let's just do a quick test to get this set up. So let's go ahead and search. You could do any name that you want. Let's just go ahead and search for Jake and press enter. Now, if you're using regular LinkedIn, it's important to note that anytime you do a search for either a name or if you wanted to search for chief information officers, you want to make sure that after you do your search, make sure that you press people. Okay. And now you're going to get a whole bunch of people that are in your prospective territory that you want to go and interact with. What you'll do now is open up sync up. And once you open up sync up, once you have your list here on whoever you want to do and whoever you want to filter, you wanna make a campaign. So let's go over what do we have here. We've got one select campaign, we have two select URL, we have three select the limit, and we have four select action. So select campaign, this is just a way for you to be able to organize the work that you do and the people that you're bringing in. So in this case, I would make a campaign and call it chief information officers. Select the URL as number two. We never have to do that. It just sync up defaults to the URL and that's how we pull all of the stuff. So let's not ever worry about that. Now three is select the limit. So as you can see here, there's about 1.17 million results. But if you counted, LinkedIn puts 25 a page and they'll only show you hundred pages max. So therefore the max that you can bring in from a search result is 2,500. So for the sake of this example, let's just go ahead and do 10. I would recommend that I, if you have the search result of more than 2,500, I would do 2,500. And if it's less, I would do the exact amount that it's less. So actually I'll go ahead and do hundred. And then we have four, select the action. Withdraw, load profile and personality. Anytime you're doing a search and you wanna bring them into sync up, all you need to do is press load profile and go ahead you'll be prompted with process, preparing to get information. And then it'll take the order of the list, Sean, then Scott, then Shannon, and it'll bring them into sync up. It would be really annoying if you had to wait here and couldn't click or do anything until this finished loading. So for that reason, you don't. As long as you don't close this tab, sync up will continue to load. So let's go ahead and get into sync up. How did I get here? Well, sync up will default to opening this up but in other ways, you can always just open the extension and press CRM and you can get to the same screen as well. So we'll be prompted with our dashboard, which goes over search appearances, profile connections, rating and recent connections. Now we can see stats on our campaigns here, but again, we haven't actually done anything yet. So we'll get a lot of zeros. 
once you actually do run stuff, you'll be able to see how many connections you sent in a campaign, how many connections you sent with all of sync up messages, profile, personalities, skills you've endorsed people for, visited it, etc. On the left side, we have connect, message, visit, activity, and template. So connect, message, and visit are all pretty much the same. And these are just the functions that you can do on LinkedIn. Do you want to connect with someone? You would go here. If you wanted to send them a message or an email, you'd go here. If you wanted to visit their pro their profiles, you would go here. So let's go ahead and go to connect. And now you're prompted with this dashboard. So on the left side of the screen, you have this box. This is where you can write a personalized introduction message. And SyncUp gives you a ton of flexibility to customize that message. So you can do first name, last name, their position in their company, and SyncUp will auto fill this. Now on the top, you have a bunch of different drop downs. You wanna start with campaign. So go ahead and press campaign. And here you'll have the one that we just created, which is chief information officers. If we click there, we'll see all of them are starting to load into here. Now, remember we loaded a hundred. So over here, you're gonna have them all start to load in. Okay. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is where it says zero, this is where we can select how many people we actually wanna send the request to. So if I wanted to connect with 10 people, I'll go ahead and type 10. If it was 50, I'll go ahead and type 50, 30, so on and so on and so forth. Now, for sake of example, we'll just do five. Premium only, this primarily you should use on the message, not on the connect, because if you have LinkedIn premium and someone else has LinkedIn premium, it's a bypass against using up one of your in-mail credits. So in this case, if you pressed yes, only premium users, and you wanted to send them a message, then it wouldn't actually use any of your in-mail credits. For connect, we'll go ahead and press any. Select message template, basically here is, we'll get there in a second. You can create a bunch of templates and then you don't have to type in this box. Message works primarily the same way. You would go ahead and, and click our campaign, which is right here. We go ahead and select how many people we wanted to send this to. We choose if we wanted them to be premium only or anyone. And then we go ahead and click and select our template or we can type in whatever we wanted to do here. Visit works basically the same way as well. You just go here, you can type in how many people you want and then visit their profiles. Activity will, will show you that we brought in a hundred over here and this is the progress of how far along the how many people it's loaded in, right? So we could see that it's still running. Now we get to template. Template is where you can customize stuff and, and, and keep track of everything. So you can say, you could create as many templates as you want. Again, guys, this is all unlimited. This is built by the people for the people. We want to help you as much as we possibly can. So you can, type, you can have as many templates as you want. You could do things like, hey, first name, pleasure to connect and wanted to add you whatever it was that you wanted to do. And again, you can customize it all this way. Subject is just for us to keep it in order. So we'll say sync up demo, we'll save the template. And now here it is. So if I come back into here, I can go to connect, pick chief information officers. I wanna connect with 10 of them. I don't care if they're premium only and I want to select the sync up demo test. When I select it, nothing will pop into here. That's okay. It's pulling from the template. So don't expect anything to pop into here if you're using templates. I'll go ahead and press send request. We'll be prompted with trying to open up communication with LinkedIn. And then from here, the process will start. And we're going to start processing these connection requests. Again, I don't have to be stuck here. I can go anywhere I want as long as I don't close this LinkedIn tab. So that about summarizes the dashboard part and the front end part of Synco. But let's see what happens after we've sent these connection requests and let's see what happens how you can make sure that these are being sent. So this can happen in two ways. The first is if you go back to LinkedIn and you press on my network and then after my network, you press on manage next to the invitations and you have received and sent, go to sent. You'll see here all of the people that we just added. Once SyncUp has completed running this campaign, what you'll see is if you go back to dashboard and then come back to what it is that you wanted to do, 
the people that it has processed, those 10 will now move on the left. And then the people that are remaining in the campaign will be on the right. So that way you don't ever double dip. Okay, let's head back to LinkedIn and let's look at the other two actions. We have withdraw invites and personality. So let's start with withdraw invites. So this is LinkedIn gives you a limit of 3000 invites that you can send at one time, meaning that you can have pending at one time. So if you ever come close to that, what you can do is say, okay, I wanna withdraw 10 of my invites. I'll go ahead and press withdraw and it'll auto syncable automatically start to withdraw the invites that you had sent saving you tons and tons of time. So you don't have to sit there and manually go, oh, withdraw, oh, withdraw. The last part of sync up, if I go ahead and press close here, will be personality. So let's show you how that works. Let's go ahead and kill this process and we'll come over here. So if I were to search any person, in this case, I'm gonna search sync up CEO, Jack Breen, and I wanna see who is this person like? Well, what I'll do is open up the campaign, let's open up sync up, I'm sorry. Let's make a campaign and we'll call it personality. And then all I have to do is just create that personality campaign and then press personality. We'll be prompted with continue to CRM. And now you'll get a bunch of characteristics, a summary, and then a lot of characteristics on who this person actually is. And the cool thing is that at the very bottom, you have action. So let's select an action. We're going to press call and then let's select an option. Make a pitch, negotiate, make a good impression, discuss pricing, follow up. So let's say we wanted to make a sales pitch to Jack. Well, SyncUp will show you things to say, things to do, and things not to do. And this is all powered by AI. So you get a better idea of some subtle things that you can do and say that will make your conversation go better. You have more insights into this person, you can have a better conversation. So again, in a nutshell, basically anytime that you want to actually create a campaign, you do your search here. For all my sales navigator people out there, it's the same exact thing. You do your search in here and you can search for whatever you wanted, right? If you did the chief information officer search, right? We go over here and then it'd be the same thing. We'd open up sync up we'd pick the campaign or create a campaign. We'd select the limit on how much we want to load. The most is 2,500. And then we'd press load profile. Then we'd go to the back end. We'd start at the dashboard. We'd choose what action we want to do, connect message visit. We'd, we'd pick the campaign from the top right. And then from here, we're going to choose how many we want to connect with. Premium only, we'll probably do any. And then select the template. We'll go ahead and press send request and that's it. It's that easy. So thank you guys so much for choosing sync up. And if you have any questions, just shoot a note to hello at syncupcrm.com. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of the day. Thanks for choosing sync up.